Welcome to the Psychology Department, School of Arts and Sciences, Rutgers University. If the audio is not clear, the text of what I will be saying is included in the slide notes. This is David Wilder, Director of Psychology Advising. Ms. Griffith and I handle advising for psychology majors and minors. Two topics will be discussed in this slide presentation. First, an overview of psychology as a field of study, including career paths. Second, a description of our program that highlights some of the opportunities for students enrolled in our courses. In addition to being interesting in its own right, psychology today overlaps with many other disciplines of study and is often referred to as a hub discipline. This makes psychology relevant to many academic pursuits and careers. Historically, psychology emerged from questions raised by philosophers about the nature of the mind and by physiologists who studied the workings of the nervous system. Psychology can be found in many of the humanities and natural sciences. Furthermore, psychology has been applied to central questions in social sciences, such as economics, for example, consumer behavior, as well as, of course, to the health professions. If you are interested in a career in psychology, you will need to continue your education beyond your bachelor's degree. Many of our majors, of course, do that. Many also use a psychology major as a base for a career in related fields, such as law, medicine, and business. Others go directly into the workforce. The next two slides give examples of what psychology students can do with a bachelor's degree. This slide was compiled by the Rutgers Career Services and lists some of the places where psych majors are employed immediately after graduation. Note that while those with a BA in psychology can work in mental health areas, they are not qualified by law to engage in independent practice. For that, students must obtain a graduate degree and licensing. These are data from a national sample of psychology majors who did not choose a profession directly in psychology. As you can see, the greatest numbers went into teaching, business, or the health professions. Now, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I'm trying to decide on where to go to college. Isn't it too early to talk about a specific career? Yes, it is too early to commit to a specific career. Part of the purpose of a college education is to expose students to many pathways, and many students will change their minds once or more when in school. However, it's not too early to lay out possible career paths. If you decide to have a career in psychology, the pie chart shows you roughly where you are likely to be working. Psychologists can be found in a wide variety of settings, but the majority cluster in healthcare and educational organizations. Other areas include business consulting and private practice. The psychology major at Rutgers is designed to fulfill several goals. First of all, we teach you the content of psychology. I will give you more details later, but in a nutshell, we have designed the major to expose students to a wide variety of psychological topics while also permitting them to explore areas of interest in depth. In addition, we provide research skills and data management instructions so that students are prepared for either graduate school or direct entry to the workplace. For students pursuing a career in psychology, the next step after the bachelor's degree is either a master's or a doctorate. The master's is generally sufficient for most counseling and business related careers. A doctorate, either a PhD or a PsyD or an MD is necessary for clinical psychology or a research career. Planning for a graduate degree is something that students should be thinking about as sophomores and juniors. For freshmen, there is plenty of time to explore before making a commitment. This brings us to the second part of the presentation, the Rutgers Psychology Department. As you can see from the two photos, our department is situated in two buildings on different campuses. The building on the right is, not surprisingly, called the Psychology Building and is located on the Bush campus. The building on the left is Tillett Hall and is located on the Livingston campus. Roughly 60% of the faculty are housed in the Bush Psych building, as well as all of the animal labs. Tillett Hall has the rest of the faculty, as well as the undergraduate and psychology advising offices. 
Both buildings also contain classrooms and laboratories. The psychology department is large, both in numbers of faculty and students. As the statistics on this slide suggest, we are a popular subject and offer several means by which students can obtain hands-on experience. The department has been named as a top 10 undergrad program based on the quality of the faculty and employment rate for graduates. This animated slide describes the learning objectives of our program. They are straightforward and cover what we believe are essential parts of a solid education. What is important to us is that students go beyond simply memorizing information. Rather, we encourage them to develop skills in evaluating research, regardless of whether they become researchers themselves, and in problem solving. These are skills that we hope will contribute to their engagement in both their professional and civic lives. Here is the pathway for the psychology major. All students take three foundation courses, a general psychology course that introduces them to the various sub-areas of psychology, a statistics course, and a lab. The second tier of the major is the core courses. Students are required to take at least one core course from each of the four main subdivisions of psychology, neuroscience, clinical psych, cognitive psychology, and social psych. There are several options within each core area, so the core courses can be taken in a way that's tailored to the student's interests. In addition to the core courses, students select six elective courses and finally one capstone course. The foundation courses are designed to introduce students to the breadth of psychology and to give them research and writing skills that will be useful whether or not they pursue a career directly in psychology. The department offers a wide range of lab courses, so most students can find one that is close to their interests. For the major, students must take one course from each of the four core areas. The purpose of the core requirement is to ensure that students sample from each of the main sub-areas of psychology, the study of the physical nervous system, abnormal or dysfunctional behavior, how the mind represents the world, and social behavior. To return to an earlier slide, you can see how the core requirement encourages students to sample from the major intersections between psychology and other fields of study. This slide contains a sample of psychology elective courses. The department offers about two dozen elective courses, most of which are offered at least once a year. This slide contains a sample of the more than dozen capstone or 400 level courses. These courses are designed to be smaller in size than typical lecture classes and to be focused on more specific and narrow issues. For example, Advanced topics courses are taught by senior faculty who often tailor the courses toward the latest research in their area of specialization. Rutgers is a large university and the psychology department is a large unit within Rutgers. With that size comes advantages and challenges. Large departments possess greater resources and can provide more opportunities to students. To help offset challenges posed by large classes, the department offers several courses that are designed to provide students with a more personal and hands-on approach to their studies. Our internship course places students at schools and community mental health facilities so that they can gain experience relevant to careers in clinical, counseling, and school psychology. We also offer three fieldwork courses in which students spend part of the semester working with special needs individuals, preschoolers, or children in foster care. Students interested in research can earn credits working in psychology labs run by our faculty. All of these are good opportunities to gain knowledge of what a career in psychology would be like and can augment student resumes. Students can graduate with honors in psychology by doing a senior thesis under the guidance of one of our faculty members. Finally, there are two organizations that students can be involved with. Each of these puts on events, such as career panel discussions. 
Psychi is the National Honor Society for Psychology undergraduates. The Psych Alliance is a Rutgers-funded organization run by students. Large research universities like Rutgers offer many opportunities for undergraduates to become involved in cutting-edge research. Students can earn elective credit for working in faculty research labs. They can use that experience as a springboard for doing an honors project more. In addition, being involved in research can help them decide on their career direction. We have compiled a research opportunities booklet that describes the various labs affiliated with our department and how students may get involved with them. You can access it at the web address posted on this slide. The following two slides are samples of the various work that is being conducted in the more than 40 labs affiliated with our department. Students who do the Honors in Psychology option complete a piece of research, write a thesis, and then present their findings at a poster session in their senior year. This slide lists titles of Honors theses written over the past few years. I have included some of them to provide examples of the variety of projects that undergraduate psych majors have created. For more information about the department program and faculty, visit our website, psych.rutgers.edu. Also feel free to email me at advisor at psych.rutgers.edu. Thank you for your interest.